you hear me? Mm-hmm. Well, you Nico Williams. That's right. It's your boy. And I'm back at it again on a Thursday, as I love to come to you every Thursday. Why Thursday? Well, I was born on a Thursday, 11.47 p.m. Wait, a.m. Yeah, 11.47 a.m. Yeah, we back. And it's the first of the month, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month, wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah, and it's old chilly day. It was, it's chilly today. One of them days that you just, just crack open the oven just a little bit and put that thing on 400 degrees and that's going to get you where you need to be. Get that cold out, right on out of there. Put the, put the stove on 400 degrees, crack it open just a little bit for 30 minutes. And it's gonna get knocked that cold right on out of there. You're gonna be good for the rest of the day. Cause uh, I'm gonna tell you like this here, ain't nobody trying to pay nobody's veteran. We paying gas out there and we paying gas in the house. One got to, I got to choose one and I got to keep it moving, okay? So um, with that being said, before I get into this episode, I'm gonna tell you like this, this is my third time starting to record this because my next topic here, we're going to talk about Breonna Taylor and um, some of the things that may or may not have been left out of what was presented to the grand jury. So we doing this. It's sorry. It's not live on Facebook today. Somebody hating. I don't know what's going on, but this is my third time. Two times in a row. It stopped my life. They was hating on me. OK, so I'm going to give it to you all. We'll be on Spotify. We'll be on Apple Podcasts. We'll be on Google Podcasts. And you already know we're going to be on YouTube. You can't stop nothing over this way. I don't know what the powers to be is doing, but y'all ain't met me, okay? Because I don't never lose, all right? Y'all forgot one thing. I don't lose. So, leading into that. So, when it came down that wonton endangerment um, became what they decided to bring charges up on, on one officer of the three that were involved in the shooting of... Breonna Taylor, which let's remind everybody that wanton endangerment is you could have hurt somebody. So if you're reckless. So here's a class D felony that we can well we can we can play it down to a misdemeanor and take it off your record in six to twelve months. No big deal. No, no, no big deal. But you know, I think everybody, everybody around this country after that came down and yeah, the $12 million, we already knew that they paid that out and you know, we, they was going to try and save face a little bit. But the family of Breonna Taylor and a lot of supporters and just people in general felt like some don't smell right about this pot of chitlins. I 100 percent of I'm of that mindset. So the people have asked the judge to tell them to release the transcripts of what happened. Give us the transcripts of what happened. What did you present to this grand jury through where they only came up with one time endangerment? Well, it turns out that the Attorney General for Kentucky, Daniel Cameron, he decided that he wanted to only bring up something that he knew he could convict. Um, he didn't bring up things like manslaughter or, or you know, reckless homicide or uh, anything like that. He didn't bring anything like that up to the grand jury is what we would come to find out. So people want to know, what did you say? What did you bring up? Because what it sounds like to me is that you brought up charges to protect this wall while saying somebody could have gotten hurt. And that's what we're charging you with. Someone could have gotten hurt. Newsflash! Somebody did get hurt. Somebody was murdered. Somebody was killed in this situation. And the best you could come up with is there was a couple of holes in the wall and said, and, 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 and God bless it, that, that nobody else got hurt in this situation. But y'all giving justice to this wall. Hey, I'm a wall. I'm sitting here. I ain't doing nothing. I literally do nothing all day. Oop, action. It gets, gets hit. It's a wall. It's still going to be there. It's still there. I'm sure they're paying right over it and fixed it and all that. And, and and I'm I'm sure that the Kentucky Police Department or the Louisville Compl the Police Department they probably took care of that that quick little damage or somebody lost their damage deposit. So with that being said, uh, the Attorney General after being after being um, after they deemed it ruled that he needed to get this uh, get these transcripts out, he asked for an extension. 
The extension is until tomorrow, which is which will be Friday, which will be October 2nd. And they wanted and, and, and he wanted some time because he wanted to redact some things that were in the, the hearing to, to the grand jury. Those things being, he said that, well, there's some information such as the names of the grand jury, as well as their contact information and their address and things like that. He wanted to protect that. But again, I don't know if we can go for that now. I don't know. I don't know because y'all been trying to be slick this whole time. Y'all been trying to be slick this whole time. So I don't know what he's going to bring to the table. I'm not really sure what we're going to get out of it. But I know it's a group of trained people that that know when there's some, when some don't smell right about the pot of chitlins. I know I know when some don't smell right about the pot of chitlins because you know how chitlins smell. And yeah, I, I, I'm just not seeing this. I'm not seeing this just going their way like this. So this is not over. So all those that are saying that, you know, still justice for Breonna Taylor, keep on saying it. Keep on saying it because this ain't over with because what's done in the dark don't come out in the light. Okay. Speaking of what's done in the dark is going to come out in the light. Well, uh, we had a presidential debate between Donald Trump and Joe Biden. And, oh, my God, if I didn't feel like I was, man, I'm telling you, the whole time I'm watching this this debate, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting bits and pieces of it because I'm working on a little project, but I'll tell you about that later. But the whole time that I'm getting these bits and pieces of the debate, I feel like I'm watching The Real Housewives of Anderson, <laughs> okay? I feel like I'm watching The Real Housewives of Marion. I feel like I'm watching The Real Housewives of Muncie. I feel like I'm listening to The, to the, to the, to the Real Housewives of East, uh, Far East. Shout out to Indianapolis, you know, I love y'all. I mean, they just going back and forth, bickering and all that, and I'm sitting there just, just talking over one another. I, excuse me, but I was actually trying to listen to what 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 they actually had to say as far as, like, like going forward as, as Americans and how we're going to be citizens throughout this world and how we're going to, how we're going to, you know, combined to, to be America, the, the United States, and not just from the state standpoint, just united as people. What are we going to do going forward based upon, first off, the fact that he was elected based off, off of, you know, being divisive, and he got all those closeted people that, that sit there and smile on your face, but they hate your black face. You know, those people, they, they hate immigrants, they hate Mexicans, all that, all them people. He found a way to galvanize them, and we found out that there is a lot more of them than it is of the people that actually want, you know, that want to live in a peaceful place, that want to live in a peaceful world, they want to live in an equal world. So it 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 was it was it was it was bad to watch. But the thing is, the bad part about it is that I found it so entertaining. I was entertained the whole time. That's not what I was supposed to be feeling. I was supposed to be feeling like. I'm supposed to be feeling like, you know, I'm supposed to be feeling like I'm getting educated and they're telling me what they want to do and 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 trying to help me figure out who I want to vote for, you know, that kind of thing. And I, I thought that's what I was going for. What are your true thoughts on these type of things? I'm sadly, I didn't get any answers except for one. So I want to give a big shout out to Chris Wallace. Um, he was the moderator and this was crazy because even he was a part of it. He was trying to check Trump and he was trying to just keep things in line and let people because they had like two minutes at a time to to answer these questions. But he just he just kept on bloviating and interrupting people and lying and just and just 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 running in circles like it was it was crazy. So but but he I, he he asked. The question that is on everybody's mind, whether you're on this side or on that side, he asked the question that's on everybody's mind. President Trump, will you denounce white supremacy? That's what he asked. Will you denounce white supremacy? And so he starts off kind of just, you know, just gibberish, like, oh, yeah, I, I, I'll do anything. I, I'll do anything. And it turned out <laughs> that, so it was like, he was, he was like, you know, just, just name a group, name a group. Name a group? 
He named the whole concept and ideology white supremacy. So that right there, that is a whole overarching thing. It doesn't matter what kind of subgenres is a part of it. They just wanted to know, do you renounce white supremacy? He said, name a group. And they said, no. And then he just starts going on this tangent of, uh, it's, it's, it's really the left. It's really the left. The left is starting all this stuff, Antifa. and uh, That's not what he asked you. He asked you, do you do you do you condemn white supremacy? And you could not do it. And that's saying a lot. That is saying a lot. And during this time, Joe Biden said, you know, bump it. I I get here, here, here you go. Here's an alley you. You said you want us to name somebody How about the Proud Boys. Go look up the Proud Boys. You know what they stand for. They don't stand for they don't stand for the right. They stand on the right. But they don't stand for the right, which is equality amongst people. They are white supremacists. And he asked, he said this. These are iconic words from a president. He said, I need them. You know what? Proud boys, stand back and stand by. Oh, Lord. Stand back and stand by. Like, that's your own little private little army you got over there. You just tell them to chill out for a second till I call upon you. So social media, all these people that are part of the Proud Boys, they jump on top of this. They actually feel like he, like, like the president vouched for them. And they, they feel so much empowered because the president just told them, just stand back and stand by. Just, you know, get back, but stay ready. So we ain't got to, you know, so, so we ain't got to get ready. Yo, we in for some times. Do you hear me? We are in for some times because we got some folk out here that's ready to go to war about this. I mean, about this 2020. It's 2020. And people still have a problem with what you look like and, and, and what race you are and, you know, your class and all that. And let's not start talking about class because I know a lot of them white supremacists, you know, some of them in the little red trailer park around the way. They ain't doing too good yourself, so what they're really doing. But that's neither here nor there. So, man, we got a lot to really look into. And I don't know. It's just causing division. And we're seeing the divisiveness now. So after this happens, right, you know, you go on social media and people are like, hey, man, if you rock with Donald Trump, man, I don't rock with you. Like, that's just what it is. And people are coming to the defense like, oh, but you're my friend. But if I can't be your friend anymore, then, you know, because of this, because of what, what I choose, you know, who I choose to go with, then, OK, then so be it. But, I'll, you know, just know my door is open to you. No, 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 no. Right now, based off of what happened last night and what he said, sounds like to me, y'all, you good with racism. Because if you good with that, you good with you good with being a racist. You're good with you're good with with thinking that you're better than everybody else. When we should be trying to build a world where everybody can be unified and come together, that's what we're supposed to be building. I thought that was the plan, but but apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. And there's there are and it's so sad to see. Because you walk around, you work with these people, right? You know, I I, I ain't gonna lie, I probably work with a few right now. I ain't gonna say no names because I don't know, because they smile in my face all day. But they go home and they talk about that boy, that 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 uppity nigga up there to the workplace think he better than everybody. Mm-mm. I don't like him. And smile on your face the next morning. I'm trying to tell you, man, this is this is crazy. And it's, it's a whole bunch of undercover agents at this point. But people are showing their true colors. They're showing that their favorite color is white. It's, it's sad. It's sad. There's nothing I won't do for, you know, a human being. And it, it, like, you know, you know, opening a door for somebody or, you know, hey, no, no, no worries. You, you reaching for something at the grocery store. No worries. I'll grab it for you. You know, I'm six foot two, ladies. But you you, you do what you got to do and you help people the best way that you can. You know, if somebody drops something, you pick it up for them. That kind of thing. That's the kind of guy I am. That's, that's how I operate. I don't care what you look like. But now, man, I'm over here looking side eye at some people. I don't know what you really stand for. And you might be calling me old nigga. And in the back of I, I don't know that, but man, some closet stuff going on. I mean, let's let's think about it. let's go back to uh 
uh, what's my man's name? Uh, Donald Sterling. Man, something about Donald's that's just, just so racist. But Donald Sterling, the owner of the Clippers, he got caught. He's always been that, but he got caught. And, you know, they, they talk a lot about, you know, Joe Biden did some things and it hurt black folk back in 1994. I believe they brought that up. And that's something I still want to research. But, you know, he's like, I, 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 I'm a, I'm a, uh, I am no longer a racist. I'm reformed. I'm a reformed racist and I'm not an elite white person anymore. These cats, both of them, Trump and Joe Biden, they're both approaching 80 quickly. I mean, y'all trying to tell me, what is, you got to be 44 years old or something like that to be the president? I don't know. I didn't look. I apologize. Y'all check me in the comments. But they can find somebody that's a little closer to what's going on in the world because these people, if you're 80 years old, more than likely you are stuck in your ways and how you want to do things. So Donald Trump being an elitist white person, that's... Uh, that's what he is. I mean, he is what he is at this point. And Joe Biden, he might be put on a face. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe spending some time with Obama. Maybe Obama. I do have a black friend. His name is Barack Obama. That might be his one black friend. I don't know. And Kamala. We just really going to need to see what's going on at the debate with Pence. Let's let's see what happens with that. Let's see. Let, let's let's see. Maybe she she might she might know how to shut him down. So. I'm excited to see that part of it, but man, we got a long ways to go. And I feel like, it's like Pharrell said in NERD, it's a war going out, going on outside. No man is safe from. And man, we're right in the middle of it. So keep your eyes tuned on that. And, and there's two more debates. And um, with all that talking over one another and and yo mama jokes and all that, that that woo, they were they was. Low blow, talking about your, your son did coke, got kicked out the army and got two and a half million dollars from the Russian, from the president's wife of Russia and whatever. Man, it's a lot going on. Just, ah, they was playing in dozens, joning on each other. The whole thing, that, it was entertaining. That's not what a debate's supposed to be. It's supposed to educate you to what really going on and how we can really, how you really feel about, you know, the policies and things that are going on in the world. And I think we found out at least one thing that Donald Trump probably is racist. Um, well, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's talk about TV last night. Wednesday night, it was going down. Um, they had a special, a pandemic special on South Park. It was, it was classic South Park. Like, I mean, they spoke on everything. So basically the pandemic's going on. There's people that are anti-maskers and, and maskers. Um, you had the police brutality aspect of it where all the police got fired and they turned to teachers and because and, the teachers was like, it's not safe to go to school. Of course, Cartman don't want to go to school. And listen, they hit on a whole bunch of stuff. And I, I suggest that everybody goes and watches the pandemic special. Still, if you got to, you get, you get somebody, uh, um, um, Hulu password, go sit over somebody's house, act like you care about them, and then ask them, can you watch some TV for a little bit and go on about your business. But I suggest everybody watch that. Game one of the NBA Finals popped off. My Lakers, they did what they had to do. They went and beat down the Heat. Man, they had he had a, had a strong start, and then it just turned into, they just the, the Lakers just turned it on, and they never turned it off. And there was a lot of injuries. Dragic, I believe he had some torn, torn uh, scientific term in your in his foot. Um, Bam out of bio, shoulder injury. Uh, Jimmy Butler rolled his ankle twice in one game. We know or know how it feels to roll your ankle once, told to do it on the same one. That is ugly. And they're playing every other day. So I can't imagine that that, that ankle is going to be 100% unless they really dope him up. But that's probably not a safe thing to do because you'll start tearing stuff and you don't even know you're tearing it. So, man, that's what we got going on. Uh, I'm sure y'all been seeing, man, we got a new episode of The Bubble that just came out today as well with me and Ian Thomas. We talk about The Bubble, but we took a different turn. Uh, we started talking about the finals, but we have been talking about everything The Bubble, going all the way back to Lou, uh, Lemon Pepper Lou, all of that. Um, but 
it's it's we took a turn because there is some things that are bigger than basketball, which is what basketball is trying to do is say, hey, we're playing basketball, but we are going to shed light on what's going on because that's what we really care about. But we are going to play basketball. Well, we did talk basketball, but we did talk about things that had to do um, that are, that are bigger than basketball. And we took a turn, and I definitely want everybody to take a look at the bubble. That's the link is everywhere on all my social media. Go check it out, man. It was a very heartfelt discussion um, as it pertains to the world we live in and how important it is to vote. Uh, you know, I'm on overall 99 ENT on YouTube. Uh, I, I, I joined forces with them and, you know, they from everywhere, Mississippi, we out here in Colorado, all type of things. And it was great to, 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 to reach out to them so that we could build and join forces in order to bring bring you guys good content. Cause that's what it's all about. Uh, we want to give you guys good content, something to think about, something to entertain, but at the same time, keep you informed as to what's going on out here in this world. Uh, we had, we got, we got, uh, West 99 Sports, we got that going on with uh, Kid Creative Player, that's cracking. And for the strong women out there, and I'm not going to say just strong black women, but I definitely want to I definitely want to put emphasis on strong black women. But for the strong women out there, we got a woman's point of uh, view. We got the show Vision, that's by my homegirl, Bree. She is not playing no games, and she is telling you the straight, unadulterated truth. That's what we need right now. And, you know, they all, they all say it's going to be a black woman that help us out. And it could be her. She got she got a word to say, okay? Um, all type of content. You know, we looking, we, 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 we recapping. We recapping what's going on um, and, and some of these shows that's going on. Like, uh, 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 what's that old country show? That show. Uh, it, it, it's just a lot to get into. Power. It's so much to talk about. And that's what overall 99 ENT is entertainment trying to do right now we're trying to bring y'all a little bit of everything from our slice of life and from our eyeballs so i'm i'm, I'm loving the direction that 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 we're going of course you can catch me on apple Podcasts. you can catch me on google Podcasts. i'm on spotify tell them mama we out here and if you're looking for somebody to take your heart and do the right thing and you ain't got to vote on this. Go ahead and head to Christian Mingle. Holler at your boy old bar swallow me while I take care of you. You, don't, you ain't got to debate this. This has been another episode of Do You Hear Me? Mm-hmm. With Unico Williams. I holler.